I'm Larry Powell. Welcome to Earthwatch, a presentation of Nipoa Access Television. Planet Earth is getting sicker fast. As shocking as that may sound, it was the conclusion of more than 1,200 scientists, hundreds of scientific institutions, and more than 160 governments in what it calls the most authoritative study it has ever done on the state of the planet's health. The United Nations says environmental damage in almost all regions of the world is increasing more rapidly than earlier thought. While Earth's human population isn't increasing as fast as it was, it's still likely to grow from about 7 billion now to 10 billion by century's end. Urban sprawl and higher levels of consumption are gobbling up precious farmland and other resources. Decertification, land degradation, and climate change are also on the rise. Many countries are severely short of water and food, too. Environmental degradation like this can even be linked to a growing list of health conditions, such as Zika virus and lung cancer. Glaciers are melting fast in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and elsewhere. Sea level rise off New York City likely expanded Hurricane Sandy's flood area by about four towns the size of Nipoa. But all is not gloom and doom. The report says there's still time to tackle many of the worst impacts, such as the rising levels of air pollution, which have become one of the most widespread environmental health risks. <laughs> No, this is not Fort McMurray, it's Siberia. Hard as it is to believe, wildfires there have, if anything, been worse than here. While casualties this year are hard to come by, wildfires claimed more than 30 lives in southern Siberia last year. The list of scientists and scientific organizations now on record proclaiming a link between worsening wildfires and man-made climate change is growing. Yet the outcry on social media from those who refuse to accept such a link seems just as loud, angry, and all too often as uninformed as ever. One person, extremely upset with one of my own Facebook posts suggesting such a link, invited me to move to Siberia where climate change hadn't occurred yet. Environmentalists and scientists concerned about certain chemicals and what they're doing to humans and other creatures got some good news recently. Despite opposite findings from two UN organizations on whether glyphosate causes cancer or not, the European Union has refused to relicense it there. It is the active ingredient in Roundup, a widely used herbicide and France is moving toward a total ban on a family of chemicals shown to be harmful to honeybees. Both substances are still widely used in North America. An advocacy group prepared this video celebrating what it sees as a victory for the bees. <laughs> Committee is recommending that a massive tract of boreal forest 
straddling the Ontario and Manitoba borders, known to the Anishinaabe as the land that gives life, become Canada's first mixed world heritage site. The committee says the area is so important to the world, both ecologically and culturally, that it must be protected. The final decision will be announced in July. Well, that's it for this edition of Earthwatch. Tune in for another in a couple of weeks or so on Nipua Access Television. For more stories like this, please visit my blog at planetinperil.ca. Bye for now. Have a green day.